I am Anthony from Hatchlersnet. In this video, I will be covering an individual topic from my book, The 21st Century Workplace, a HR and EEO guide. If you like what you hear, please check out the Amazon affiliate link in the description or visit my website at tony.hasledge.net. That's T-O-N-Y dot H-A-S-L-A-G-E dot net. Thank you. Welcome to Casual August. I'm Anthony from Hatchersnet, and today we're going to talk about red tape. I once worked in an organization where getting the simplest task completed outside of my own office took way longer than they should have. Uh, I would think myself impatient if not for the fact that the others around me in my office as well as its department felt the same. At first it annoyed me as I am sure it had initially annoyed the others working around me. I had even tried to obtain autonomy and streamline some processes so those outside of the office would not impede my progress as much. After a while, I began to accept the massive inefficiencies that had occurred around me and considered them a result of being part of a large organization involving nearly 13,000 people. As a model of efficiency that I am, I would then simply complete my tasks and all in a timely manner and submit them to the proper individual at either the office or departmental level and just wait. I would wait for notifications of receipt, responses to questions, and even follow-ups. Since I was doing my job to the best of my abilities, I eventually stopped worrying about the processes ever concluding. Sometimes I would finally receive the responses that I sought, but they were so far departed from the original submission date that I had no recollection of submitting the items in the first place. At one point, I waited six months for the approval of an event that was to be held on the employer's grounds. I sent periodic requests for status updates on the approval process for them to only fall on deaf ears. The day before the event was planned to occur, I received an email stating that someone at a higher pay grade needed more time to make a decision. I responded that I submitted the paperwork six months in advance because I needed three months to effectively plan promote and execute it and felt that those three months was plenty of time to make such a decision. Before I had even submitted the paperwork, I had made sure that the people and space were available. In addition, the paperwork clearly stated the date in which the event was to be held. I concluded in my response that even with permission, I could not effectively plan, promote, and execute the event within one day's time. Thus, I withdrew my request. Uh, my example was not the first of its type in that organization, as I have heard more recently, it was also not the last. However, as I have described, red tape is not strictly an issue of governmental bureaucracies. In a world where an organization lives and dies with the amount of sales and service that it can provide, the inefficiencies of red tape can only lead to one place, where everyone is out of work and everything goes on sale. If someone submits a requisition form on Monday, on Tuesday the person in purchasing who receives it should process it and get back to the sender by the end of either that day or the next. If the requisition requires a supervisory effort, then an extra day or two is expected. In the same time, someone could be sending the sender some form of communication allowing them to know where the process is and the, uh, how the request is moving along. If the center hears nothing back by, let's say, Thursday morning, they need to submit an inquiry, and it should probably be in person, if at all reasonably possible. If the process could have been handled entirely in-house, it should have been completed by the end of the workday on Friday. You may have met someone with a background in business management who told you that the best type of business structure is one with a flat hierarchy or one clearly defined divisions based upon uh, broad or major categories. Frankly, they're not wrong, but that really depends on the type of organization that you have, and there are some novel bits of documentation out there in the world that can help you make that decision. The point is, no matter the business structure, efficiency within that organization is very important. Open communications up and down the chain is essential, but so is processing work in a timely manner. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for checking out our content. Before you leave, please remember to click like and then subscribe. If you want to receive notifications, do not forget to enable them by clicking on the bell. Then afterwards, check out our social media at Hasledge.net and our website at hasledge.net.